Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna be recoloring my hair with this um, awesome Joyco right here. Except for I'm gonna be also using this blue Manic Panic. This is like, I don't have much left of this one. My other one I did a giveaway on and my person finally got hers so I messaged her. And she said she got it which is awesome because I'm super excited that she got it. I'm glad that I did like my first giveaway. I did something fun on my channel. But anyway, I'm going to be doing my bangs like this. It's pink. It says it's pink. But it comes out like purple. So I don't even know why, but it does. But we're going to do purple in my hair, like right along in here. And then we're going to follow up with this Voodoo Blue by Manic Panic. And we're going to like do it in here. Like right behind the purple. So, that's gonna look cool. So, first off, I took out my clips of my hair so my bangs are like all crazy now. And I am going to section off my hair on like where I want it um, colored. So, that's what you do. And I just got my new amazing clips. I had to get more of them. So, yeah, got some awesome new colors. And what I'm doing now is just sectioning the purple part off where I want done and then this piece is gonna be like all blue and stuff so yeah it's gonna be awesome okay guys I just got done sectioning my hair so you're gonna just see this purple and I'm going to put this in my bowl right here that I don't know how much I put in oh not enough just a little bit more it's because I'm doing a little bit of my bangs. I'm not doing like a whole lot of it. And then if I need more after, then I'll just put more in my bowl. Which, that's also how I save. And for the manic panics, like if I'm not doing like half of my head, um, then usually, like what I'll do is if I save it, I just dip my brush into it. So it like saves the color. But if you have like a lot of hair that you want to get done, then it's just easier pouring it all in the bowl. But um, if you pour it in the bowl and you're not doing like a whole lot, then um, just keep it in here because then when you pour it in the bowl, there's like other like strands in the bowl that you cannot like get out. So it's like, I feel like it's wasting a tad bit, but I don't know. I guess that's just me. Also, it's Valentine's today. I don't know if I mentioned that before to you guys. <coughs> but um, this is also why I'm clearing my hair. Just because it's Valentine's Day, I'm not doing anything. I don't have anything to do, like anything with anyone. But um, yeah no like percent or anything so I am just gonna sit here and color my hair and do something that makes me happy so yeah you guys are just gonna sit there and watch me color my hair I wasn't gonna film a video of this but um since I love filming for you guys and coloring my hair and it's Valentine's Day today I am going to just film me coloring my hair so you guys can see I don't know if like a lot of you guys like hair coloring videos I know like a lot like some like people like who love to color their hair they do watch these kind of videos so that's why I love doing these videos too and maybe you guys like learn something from these videos or you just like to sit and watch me color my hair which I don't blame you guys I sit there on YouTube too and watch other people color their hair I just think it's like amusing and it's fun to do that's my fun <laughs> And then once you got like around your hairline, then you could take it in with your fingers and sometimes like, like just push it forward or push it down like this. And also you can take your finger and rub it in like that too. So you're not missing any spots.
Okay, so now I'm working on this section of my hair and I'm just getting around my hairline again with this section over here. Hopefully you guys can see that well. And then I'm going to lift up my hair like that too just so I can like get underneath. My natural hair is like actually growing in too and I just like recently relightened up my hair too. It's like crazy whoops it's crazy how like quick my hair grows in And I'm also trying to get like the small little hairs right here that you guys probably can't really see. But um, they're like very blonde. Like if you have blonde hair too, just make sure like you get those parts in and you don't forget them. Because I've done that a few times and it just kind of makes your hair look funky. And guys, also if you do not want to like get this part like all covered in dye, what you can do is um, put uh, petroleum jelly right there or you could put like um, I think cholesterol and like other stuff there to help it like and even if it does get right there then it's like easily wapeable so that's also another tip and guys when you're coloring your hair make sure um because I just got done doing this piece I know I say this in my other videos but make sure like you split your hair up like this too so you can like also make sure you got like every part of your hair because sometimes you can just like paint or color your hair and then like you can go like that and then see like there's some parts that are not colored so make sure you check for that try to put my blonde hair back so I don't get that part colored because that's where the blue is going and I need to put more color in my bowl soon I just got everything colored around my roots, so now I'm working it through this part, all the way down through my hair. And then also, if you get some on your glove too, you can also use your glove to just wipe it onto your hair so you're not wasting the dye. Because I do that all the time. Or sometimes I'll put dye on my hand. Or I'll grab like a big glop if I'm doing a lot of my hair. And then I'll just like rub it in my hair like this. So I'm not like wasting dye or I'll just do it if I have a lot to do. So... So, 
I'm just going to work it all through now because I think it's all in there. Which it's probably not because I'm going to split my hair and just make sure. And rub it in. Now I gotta add some more color in my bowl. I keep twisting it because like I'm so used to the manic panic so you twist the whole top off. But mine's literally just you undo the top like that. <laughs> okay guys, I just got done like coloring all my bangs right here that I wanted to be colored. Um, and once you're done, you could probably, like, go back and, like, check everything, make sure that's how you want it done and everything is, like, all colored in right. Um, now, what I'm gonna do next is wait about an hour to let this sit. You can wait, like, longer, like, you can wait as long as you want, like, three hours. I used to, like, do my hair over the weekend and keep my hair in, like, hair coloring over the night and do it that way, too, and it will come out, like, really bright and vibrant. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in an hour. I'll be rinsing this out and then applying the blue to my head. And I was just jamming it so motionless and white, and every time I turn the camera on, I cannot listen to it because of copyright reasons. But, um, yeah, jamming emotionless and white. If you guys like motionless and white, you can go on to my main channel, Maya Maya Smith, and go check out some motionless and white videos that I've posted on there. Because I've seen Motionless and White live like three times. And I got to meet the band. And I am like close with a member of that band. And they're like amazing. So go check out Motionless and White if you haven't. They're like a scream screamo band kind of metal. Um, if you like that kind of stuff, please check Motionless and White out. I actually have one of my Motionless and White shirts on. Um, but I took it off to wear this because it's my hair coloring shirt. So yeah. Peace out guys. I'll see you in about an hour. Okay guys, it's been an hour and like 35 minutes, so I'm going to wash this out in the shower. I have no idea how I'm supposed to show you guys this, because sometimes I use my sink, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll try to figure out a way. Okay, I don't know how much good of footage I got of that. Uh, my makeup's kind of messed up now, guys, because uh, I kind of wiped my eyes because of what it was going in my eyes. But um, this is my bangs right now. While it's wet, I'm going to blow dry it next. And then we will start with doing the blue. All right. Okay, guys, I just got done blow drying my hair, and this is what it looks like. And I absolutely love it. It's almost like the same thing as what I did last time. Except for now, I'm going to be going in and adding a little bit of blue. So let's see how that goes. And yeah. Okay, guys, I tried to section my hair best as I could. So I tied the front up in a little um, ponytail knot thing. And then I have my section right here. And the purple right here, I'm going to try to avoid coloring on. But we're gonna see how well this works, and yeah. I'm gonna be doing my hair voodoo blue. I'm gonna shut my bathroom door. So for this, I'm just gonna open this up. I don't have a whole lot of blue dye left, 
which is why I did not choose like huge sections to do my hair like this. So, um, the purple, well, it's pink, but it kind of looks like purple. That I had like a lot of dye, so that I can like go all over the place with and it would have been fine. So, um, this one's Manic Panic and the other's Joyco. So, we're gonna see how well they go together. And we're gonna see how well I can do my hair like this. Hopefully it doesn't come out too bad. Gotta get some blue. Right here, I'm trying to avoid the pink because there's like a light pink right there. So I'm trying to skip over that and just do the blue right here. I have a feeling this is going to look really pretty though. It's almost going to be like a cotton candy kind of thing. I have a feeling it's going to be something like that. And what I'm doing right now is getting like a little bit on my finger and then just putting it on there because it's also, it's just also easier for me to do it that way because of all these little bits that I am not supposed to get in here. So whatever way works for me, I'm just going to do. Oh, that's supposed to be blue and then some of this right here is not supposed to be blue so we just gotta be careful with everything make sure um the purple and the blue blend good together you guys see that hopefully nothing is in the way so what i'm doing really is just taking my brush and then dabbing my finger on the brush and that's how I'm doing my hair because I feel like if I use the brush then it's like too much for my hair especially in these like tight little spots Okay, so um, I'm almost done coloring the blue part of my hair. I just have this section right here to do. So I did the rest off camera. So I'm still taking a little bit of my finger and going in with it.
And then I just have this piece right here to do. And then after that, I'm going to wait about like an hour or so. Just like I did with the other one. Wash it out and then blow dry it and then my hair will be done. Okay, so it's pretty much all done. There's like a few spots where like there's different textures of blue. It'll be like light blue and dark blue and it looks really cool. So I can't wait to see the results after I'm done with this. My hair looks really nice. I'm just going to apply a little bit more on the side there. I think this should be good. Just cover up a few spots just to make sure. So that's done. Hey guys, um, I did not show you me blow drying my hair because I showed you guys that in the other clip. So this is what my hair looks like. It's wet. I still have to blow dry it. I meant, you know, I didn't show me washing my hair because I showed you guys that in the other clip. Now I have to just blow dry it, but it looks super cool and I really love it. So yeah, hopefully it just comes out really cool looking. Once it's all like blow dried and everything. So I will show you guys after I'm done blow drying. Alright. So this is what my hair looks like. It's wet. I still have to blow dry it. I meant, you know, I didn't show me washing my hair because I showed you guys that in the other clip. Now I have to just blow dry it, but it looks super cool and I really love it. So yeah, hopefully it just comes out really cool looking. Once it's all like blow dried and everything. So I will show you guys after I'm done blow drying. Alright. Guys I am in love with my hair. It looks absolutely amazing. I just got done blow drying it. And that's how the purple came out. With the blue. And um. My blonde that I left in there. And then back here it's like a light like minty blue color. It looks amazing. If you guys can see this, it's so pretty. <laughs> and I love it so much. It it like absolutely came out so good. So um guys, it's like nighttime now and this video probably took like four or five hours or so just to do for you guys. Cause I love you guys so much. You're amazing. You guys mean the world to me. So if you like this video, or any of my other hair coloring videos, please like give this video a like if you did love it. Um, also guys, please subscribe if you loved me coloring my hair and stuff. Because I do a lot of this on this channel. I also do a lot of it on my main channel. And um, yeah, so please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope you're doing something fun. And if you're alone, just go out and get chocolate or something. Eat chocolate or watch a movie or just go and eat food. <laughs>
Um, I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I'm spending the rest of my Valentine's Day eating food and just admiring my own hair and just probably gonna sit in the mirror for until this fades out. So anyway guys, I'll see you in my next video. I love you. Peace out. Bye. This is bigger than you and me. You will see the crowd sweat.